Biden says he is ready to fix the problem at our southern border. Watch this. Look, folks, we've got a simple choice. We can fight about fixing the border or we can fix it. I'm ready to fix it. Send me the border bill now. What's he, come on, what's he been doing for three years? Uh, Arizona Senate candidate Sheriff Mark Lamb joins us now. Sheriff, the president says he's ready to fix it. Why no executive actions from the speech last night? Exactly. If he wanted to fix this, he could have fixed it already. And what he should have opened his speech with is, folks, we're going to close the border. That is what he is most underwater for right now in his polls, because all Americans are ticked off that he hasn't closed the border and fixed the border issue. He has all the authority he needs to fix the border issue now without a new border bill, without any more taxpayer dollars. He can fix it with the authority he has under the Immigration Naturalization 212F. The if same he, authority he used to do Trump's policies. If he did come out last night and say, right, I'm closing the border as of right now, I'm fixing it, I'm doing everything I can, it's, it's closed as of now. Do you think his, the Democrat Party would go along with that? No, no, they wouldn't have gone along with it, which is why he took 40 minutes to do it. He talked about Snickers and whether there was enough chips in a bag. He talked about the fees that you're not going to have to pay on your Ticketmaster ticket long before he got to the border. And, get, and, and the American people recognize that stuff. They understand that he, this is not a top priority for him, especially when he waits 40 minutes to talk about it. The president used the word illegal when describing migrants. Democrats are not happy with that. So what should they be called, Sheriff? Well, they should be called illegals. That's what they should be called. He's right. And he, it was a slip on his part. And you can see Kamala Harris's face in the background. She was just kind of cringing. But he also recognized when talking about what he called Lincoln Riley, her name is Lakin Riley, um, when he was talking about that, he recognized that thousands of Americans are dying at the hands of illegals that are in this country. So... Um, I don't think he meant to do that either. He got right. off script and, uh, and he had made a few mistakes. Describe the situation in Pinal County right now where you are. Are you still seeing the same flow coming through? We are. It's on our freeways. We just had a pursuit yesterday. Had to get our helicopter up looking for people. We just had to go rescue a guy out of the desert who had a knee problem. We had to pull a dead woman out of the mountains the other day that the cartels left for behind. We've got it. This is this constant flow, Stuart, in our county. And this is part of the reason I'm taking my fight to D.C. I love being sheriff, but I can only do so much. Uh, a lot of these problems have to be fixed in the Washington, D.C. level, which is why I'm running for the U.S. Senate. Got it. Sheriff, we appreciate you being with us this morning. And we'll see you again real soon. Thank you. Sir. Yes, sir.